Why is that noise? Give me just a moment, and I'll have this open. Wow! Well, isn't that clever? Huh. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, yes, purple fog. Not good. Behold the skull of corruption, the source of Dawnstar's woes. We must reach the inner site and Ooh. destroy it. Come, there's no time to lose. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. I'll play Claudius. But, uh. Wow, there it is. Can I. I'd just like to point out, by the way, here, for a second. Not only just this game look great right now, but since I got my new headphones, because, yeah, I bought new headphones. Um, last episode I mentioned that the wire was making the headphones crackle. Well, they finally died recently, so I had to buy new headphones. But these new ones I bought are amazing. The sound quality on them is fantastic. And this game, with this new headset, just sounds amazing. So atmospheric. Damn it! Priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Looks, um, yeah, shall we say difficult to breach? Impossible, actually. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. You do seem to know an awful lot about this place. I suppose there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Oh, there's the big reveal then. Um, yeah, why didn't you just tell me? Not sure I really would have honestly cared. When the orcs invaded the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters here to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. Uh, chip on your shoulder then, that's why then. Uh, okay, well, let's, let's do this. Let's go look for this library, is it, you said? I still have my key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Right Righto. Um, yeah, good question actually. How how exactly is the skull affecting Dawnstar? Law holds that the skull of corruption holds a constant hunger for the memories of others. The skull has been out of touch for so long. I fear it's gained the ability to reach out on its own and try to feed. What it does with these memories is just conjecture, and an argument for scholars and historians to this very day. Oh. Okay. We mustn't tarry. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Just after I loot these bodies. <laughs> Wolfskin black cloak of resist magic. I hope. What am I wearing at the minute then? Alright, yeah, I've got resist frost. This is resist magic. Um. I think I'll probably keep the resist frost. It's more practical. Steel maul? Now that's new. I've never seen one of those before. Huh. Interesting. 
Anyway. Light seems to be a bit buggy here at the minute for some reason. Look, turn left, it's fine. Turn right, it's gone. Flickery and stuff. It's just up here. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the awakened within. You didn't make it sound so dramatic. The awakened. Cave of Resist. Ooh! Also of Resist Frost! Let's check that out. What does that look like? Also looks kind of cool. I like it. Huh. That or. Matches my backpack a bit better. And my hood. That or this? Yeah, definitely the bear claw. It doesn't clip as badly with the armor. Uh, there we go. Sweet. Looks even more badass with the claws and everything. Sweet. Right, I'm having that. Awesome. I still got the frost resistance. Um, varieties of danger. Yeah. Not interested. So, what now? Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? I don't know. What can you help me with, mate? Permanent. Where have you gone? Oh, there you are. Is there still more of them around here? Is this why you're. This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now look at it. Almost everything's been burned. Well, yeah, Both not the tome we need is still intact. You didn't say which tome we need, actually. Oh. Right. Boring any more interruptions. Perhaps we can locate the information I need. Yeah, I was going to say. I was wondering why he wasn't saying that earlier. I guess it's because these guys were down here. And again, I'm moving the... I don't know why I do that. Sorry, guys. What am I looking for? We're looking for a book of alchemical recipes called The Dream Stride. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Okay. If you'll check the shelves around the balcony, I'll check around the lower level. Mm. Ugh. Looking around a library for a book. Not my idea of fun. A bloody legionnaire, not a librarian. God, librarian. I couldn't think of a more boring job in the world, frankly. To find one that's not burned. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 Hello. 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 Uh, biography of Baron Zaya. Salt. Ah! Sixteen Accords of Madness, Volume 6. Eh? Who seems tail? Um, hmm. you know, I, 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 I don't, is that a book from that was originally in the Shivering Isles? Sounds like it might have been. Not seen it before. Anyway, it's not going to help us. Fey Falcon. Again, by Wogan Jarth. He seems to have written every other book in this game. Uh, burned. Burned, 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 burned. 
Any luck? You know, staring at the one shelf full of burned books isn't going to help either of us. Just saying. Burned, 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 burned. They're all bloody burned. I think we might be a bit screwed, Erinder. Just, just going to be honest. Burned, 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 burned. Uh, ooh. Still burning. Step around that. The permanent. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Ah! Just, uh, 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 uh. Uh. At least I feel warm, apparently. Burnt, burnt, burnt! Oh, bloody burnt! Right. Burned. Hang on a minute. Can I get across here? It's a bit precarious, but let's give it a go. Wee. Aha! This looks promising. The Dream Stride, and my god, is it a gigantic book? Look at that. <laughs> wow. Um, the Dream Stride, the mysterious alchemist Vermina. For over a thousand years, the priests of Vermina have been masters of the art of alchemy. The complexity and potency of their mixtures are nothing short of legendary. These alchemical treasures are so highly sought after that a single draft showing up on the black market can command sums in the tens of thousands of septims. Of the numerous potions that have been surfaced to date, Verminus Torpor is perhaps the most impressive. A single sip of this viscous liquid places the imbiber in a state known as the Dream Stride. Alright, okay, that sounds familiar. This must be what he's after. Uh, this condition allows the subject to experience the dreams of another as if they were actually there. The subject becomes an integral part of the dream, behaving as if they belong. To any other entities in this dream state, the subject will be mistaken for the dreamer. The subject will even find his mannerisms, speech patterns and knowledge expanded appropriately. To an observer, after the subject has imbibed the potion, they will appear to vanish. As the subject traverses distances within the dream, they will also be traversing distances in the actual world. When the torpor's effect is expired, the subject will fade back into reality and the exact location projected within the dream stride. Some dream strides have transported their subjects a few feet and some have appeared thousands of miles from their origin in a matter of minutes. Uh -oh. Doesn't sound particularly reliable. <laughs> it's to be noted that the dream stride is highly dangerous and presents a subject with numerous pitfalls. In certain dreams, subjects have been exposed to life-threatening scenarios such as sicknesses, violence, and even death. In some cases, the subject simply fades back to our world without harm, but in some instances, the subject never re reappeared and was assumed to have expired, or the subject reappeared deceased. It's also quite possible that the subject could reappear in a precarious or hazardous location in reality, even though that location appeared safe within the dream stride. Vermina Torpor is as mysterious and elusive as the priests that created it. It's unknown whether this unique transport mechanism is a result of the Torpor itself, or simply the odd machinations of Vermina, but the potential for using the dream stride to penetrate seemingly impassable obstacles certainly outweighs its mysterious nature. Ah. Right, I see you. I see what you're doing here, Erinder. I don't like the sound of it one bit. I've, where is he? I found your book, mate. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Found it. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner sanctum. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. Yes, I know already. Yeah, is that some type of potion? Hmm. I love how they assume that I'm too much of a dunce to have actually bothered reading the book they wrote for us. <laughs> but whatever. Yes, the Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. 
That's amazing. Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. And yeah, no, I figured this out already, mate. But I'm suppose I suppose you want me to try it then. Uh, as a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. Oh ho! The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. Oh, <laughs> isn't that convenient then? <laughs> you sure you're not just making this up as you go along, Erinda? Whatever. Um, you'd be ridiculous. It could kill me. I will not lie to you. There is some risk involved. The last time the torpor was embarked could have been decades ago. But I swear upon Lady Mara that I will do everything within my power to prevent any harm from befalling you. Yeah, well, you're not actually saying there that everything within your power constitutes precisely nothing. You're just saying that to be nice. So... Well, I, can you make the torpor? Is there some around here somewhere we can look for? I believe there is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. <sighs> What'll it feel like then? You'll be viewing the memory of another through your own eyes and with your own body. Those around you will perceive you as normal, and you will find the words you utter may not be your own. Thanks to all of these odd principles, there is quite a lot of debate as to whether this is really a dream or just the machinations of Vermina. So, how will I know when to awaken? Do I even get a choice? I will watch over you as you slumber to ensure your safety. If I deduce anything is amiss, I will use my arts to bring you back. But how can you watch Otherwise, over me? I am uncertain what will end your dream stride. Perhaps when Vermina's curious appetite has been filled. How can you watch over me? The book says I'm going to disappear. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. All right then. Lead the way, mate. This is your temple, not mine. Hello, there's another door over there. Ah, my torch ran out. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> a random room <laughs> with a single chest in. Need 75 skill to pick this lock, yeah. Oh, wow. Do I have any more torches? I do. I have loads of torches. Good. Oh, wizards. Mead wine. Yeah. Empty sack. Tinder box. All oh, right, no, I don't need tinder box to jump. Take the salt though. On then, let's go. Time for your final What does it look like then? It should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. <laughs> I'll begin searching up here. <laughs> the torpor should be in a tall bottle with dark liquid. If you find it, bring it to me. See, you said bottle correctly then. <laughs> What was that about? Bottle. 
<laughs> Who says ball? Oh dear. You know, I know the Dark Elves in this game have this weird sort of like... Absurdly fake English accent. But most of the time, for some reason, it just sort of works. You know, it kind of feels like... A, I don't know, it just sort of works as an accent for the Dark Elves, but occasionally he says something like ball, and it just breaks down completely. Oh dear. Danger. Why did I... What the hell did I just pick up, and why did I pick it up? Sorry, I'm being very absent-minded today. Um, it was a potion, wasn't it? Right, okay, fair enough. I'm just... Um, I'm looking at all these alchemical ingredients here and I'm thinking, oh, I want that and I want that and I want that and then I remember, oh wait, no, I'm not playing a wizard character, so, yeah. Dog meat. Vampire dust. Eee. Hello. Of potion. Verminus Torpa. Gotcha. I'm going to assume it was labelled. <laughs> Rock or leg. How's that noise again? Why does a temple of Vermina have deer deer heads mounted on the walls. I have to wonder. Well, whatever. Ah, oh, right, this leads back around to here. Well, that's handy. Ah, oh, ooh, hello. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Right, Erendil, I have found you, you, your, um, your, your torpor. Really know why I'm picking up lockpicks. I don't use them. Yes, my son. Found what the, is it I can help with? I, I found the torpor. I'm relieved you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guard us the rest of the way. Drink. What, did you get right here now? Do you want me to lie down first or something? Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait, the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. Alright, alright, don't need to guilt trip me about the people of Dawn Star. Let's continue. We still have much to do. It's certainly somewhere I can sit down. <laughs> Come on, just a chair, anything. Oh. Oh, there we go. Alright, that'll do. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, the oh dear god, that looks painful. Um. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> anyway, alright, let's do this. You know what? I am gonna. I'm just gonna quick save in case. Sitting down and drinking the tall ball will break the game. Who knows? Anyway, it goes. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, brother Baron. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, brother. Then we have no choice. The miasma must be released. Yes, but brother, we have no alternative. It's the will of their meaning. And what about you, brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of their Mina? Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brothers.
Ugh. What the? Where where am I? Where did you go? Uh, oh! Well, I'm here. Oh, this is what was making that noise. I don't mind saying... Oh, you're here. I don't mind saying, Erendor. That was incredibly disturbing. I never want to do that again. Ugh. So... Oh, do I have to pull this? Oh, it won't budge. Right. Uh, oh. There we go. Was that simple, was it? Fair enough. Job's done. It, it worked. Mara be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, <laughs> you mad? I could have died, you know. I thought I was clear regarding the dangers that awaited you within the Dream Stride. However, this hardly matters any longer, as you appear to have exited on scale. Well, yeah, we can discuss this later. Um, we probably ought to do something about that, uh... The skull down there. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Cut. We must get to the skull and destroy it. Right. Um, yeah, you better lead the way, actually. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. But then again, when I think about it, oh, get lost. I sort of do know where I'm going, actually. <laughs> um, nice, Claudius. Maybe a tad excessive, but nice, nevertheless. <laughs> Potions, potions, soul gems, soul gems, soul gems. Oh, no. enchanter. Well, no, we don't have time for that. Ah. I can improve my amateurish attempt at enchanting at a later date. For now we've got things to do. I think I've run out of charge. Ouch! God, he did a lot of damage. See, yeah, I bet. Iron greatsword. I bet I was getting lots of comments up to this point in the video with people saying stuff like, oh, this is too easy. You need to raise the difficulty. Blah, 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 blah. And then suddenly half my health gets taken out by an orc berserker. Um, yeah, shut up, you lot. I'm, I'm pretty much like I've not. I'm not going to put the difficulty. Oh, it's on adept. Shit. <laughs> it's supposed to be on expert. Whoops. Um, never mind. I, I take back what I said. But what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put it on master because I've I have seen Skyrim played with master difficulty and it's it's just silly. It really is. Um, so yeah. Anyway, whoops. Sorry about that. It's because I, I tell you why it was like that. It was because I've been playing. The um, the Dave playthrough, which is on adept difficulty, and I've got to switch you back. Oops. I think it was a bit easy, but I figured that was just because they were weak enemies. Uh, hello. Can I back? maybe? No. Never mind. Yeah. Now it's an expert lock because I damaged it with my. Inept attempts at bashing it open, which has made the lock now more difficult to open. So, there you go. That's how that mod works, by the way. Never getting that thing open. 
These guys all fell asleep in very awkward positions, didn't they? <laughs> oh, guys, gonna have one hell of a, hell of a backache after that. Up oh, top, sorry, Arinda. I was just, you know, looting. Don't mind me. Wow. Yeah. Okay. This guy. It's taking suddenly a lot more of punishment than than he was before. Um, I have to equip the shield of them and ditch this torch. Bell, Thorin, you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. <gasps> I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Take me and take away. That conversation would have been a lot more dramatic were it not for the fact that it was between the same voice actor playing two characters, which is a little bit weird. Oh dear. Sorry, Thorak. Had to be done. Apologies, but, well, you know, you were insane. Quite literally. So, I don't, know, I don't really have a choice. Anyway. I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. I gathered as much. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? Would you stop pontificating and let's get on with this? Like, uh, There's a time and a place, man. There really is. Like, come on, they were trying to kill us. Let's be honest. And had they succeeded, Dawnstar's fate would be sealed. You have a unique way of looking at things, my friend. Really? <laughs> it's time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. Right oh. An incantation to remove the barrier. Don't mind me, I'll just uh do a bit of where did Where did that other chap end up? Oh hello. Uh -huh. I call upon you, Lady Mara. The skull hunger. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. <laughs> what? When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. Um, fuck you, bitch. Quite frankly, sod off. I mean, if he does take the bloody skull, then yeah, obviously I'll kill him. But uh, he doesn't strike me as the type, frankly. Right, Erinda. Oh, here he is. Um. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. You did just destroy it, right? We, we, we're done, then? Yeah? Um. Right, it's pretty, pretty impressive looking, actually, from inside here. Anyway. Are you alright? In time, I believe I will. I'd constructed a meagre shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. Uh, if what? you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. Oh. Well, thank you very much then. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. 
Oh, uh, you know what? He's very humble. I like that. What have you got for me then? The Mace of a Fast Stone Singer. <laughs> How on earth did that end up here? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Suddenly, Blood Moon flashbacks. Man, oh man, I am taking that. Oh man, everyone who hasn't played Blood Moon right now is just like, what, 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 why are you making such a big fuss over this mace? Well, sorry guys, you're going to have to just go play Blood Moon and then you'll know why this weapon's great. Thank you very much. Damage 48 is worth 2,500. Damage 50, ah, oh, that's a shame. I was hoping it'd be better than my sword. This used to be, I think... I think this was, pr I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I've said that a lot for some reason. But yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure this used to be the best mace in Morrowind. Because, yeah, this game was in, I mean, this, this this mace was in Morrowind and it was one of the best ones in the game. Um, apparently its quality has degraded a little bit over the last couple of centuries. <laughs> but, holy crap, I now have the mace of Avar Stonesinger. Now that is an ancient Nordic artifact, if ever I saw one. How marvellously inappropriate that it should end up in the hands of Claudius of all people. <laughs> oh my. Well. I shall be keeping that. In fact, I may use it instead of the sword, just so I don't waste charges from the sword. I can use it instead of my Gladius now. And yet, as you will, you may recall, I did say a while back, a few videos ago, that I can use maces because in Morrowind, because that's the only place I could find actually where the official weapon types the Legion use, the Legion uses are written down. Um, the Legion does use blunt weapons, so Claudius can use maces. So, fuck yeah, I'm using the Maze of Avar Stone Singer. Ha! <laughs> God, I'm chuffed about that. I had no no idea it was here. I'm pretty sure it... I mean, I'm 99% sure it's added by a mod. And I know there's some other weapons from Morrowind that are in the vanilla you know, Skyrim. Like, I know Keening is in Skyrim. I think you get it from a quest in the College of Winterhold, but... Huh. Awesome! Where have you gone, Erinda? Erinda! Where are you? Oh, there you are. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Hmm. So a new potential follower. My oh my. That's also cool. He's yeah, he's a pretty cool bloke actually. I like Erendor. He isn't um I mean he has his moments, but uh he's not half as dim witted as most of the people I've met in Skyrim. And, uh, yeah, he's a capable mage. Well, not really a mage, he's more like a cleric, isn't he? Yeah, and he, he apparently has sparkly hands as well. <laughs> so, can you heal me, I wonder, in fights and stuff? That'd be cool. Well, Erinda, it's been, uh, it's been fun. I suppose. Slightly terrifying as well. Hey, nice. Light armor increased. Um, I guess mm. it's where we bid farewell. I'm not going to take him with me right now. You know, I might come back and I might come and get Erendur and have him follow us around a bit. Um, more interesting follower than Lydia, certainly. Um, but right now, I'm going to leave him you know, to his thoughts. I think he needs some time alone, really. To uh, rest and reflect and clean this place up a bit since he intends to stay here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think I might come back for Erendor. Because he, he's a pretty cool follower. That's just weird, though. <laughs> well, um, nice. I guess, uh, well, there we go, then. Pretty cool quest, this. I do like this quest. I wanted to do it as soon as I came to Dawnstar. Um, so there we go. We, 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 we have 
saved the people of Dawnstar from their nightmares induced by the Daedric Prince Vermina, who we defied magnificently. Refused to do her bidding. Destroyed the Skell of Corruption. And uh, I got a new follower and the Mace of Avar Stonesinger out of the deal. So how awesome is that? Well, anyway. Probably time I was heading back to Dawnstar and I want some rest, damn it. I'm... I'm, uh, how, how, um, how tired am I? Yeah, I'm pretty tired, so, every time I was getting back. Anyway, more next time. For now, I and Claudius shall bid you farewell, dear viewers, and I'll catch up after I've gone back to the inn and rested and all that sort of thing. So, ta-da for now.